Today I'm going to show you how to make a timeline using the JS Timeline Creator from Night Lab. So you can go to timeline.nightlab.com or you can Google JS Timeline. Once you get there, you click on Make a Timeline. And then they actually give you step by step exactly what you need to do. But the first step is get the spreadsheet template. So you will click on that. You will then click on Use This Template and it will save it into your Google Drive. The first thing that you need to do is rename this. If you think you're going to do more than one timeline, you might keep this and then make a copy of it. So let's go ahead and just rename this Civil War. Now it is time for you to put your information in. The one thing you need to understand is you do not want to mess in your first row right across here, so do not make any changes or delete any columns. You cannot have any empty rows, so be very careful if you add rows that you do not add a thousand. So if you need to add more, make sure you change that to however many you need. And then you can click on Add, and it will add an extra row down here at the bottom. Your year is where you put in the year. So we will continue this one since I added one. I can't leave it empty. We will make this 2015. We will make it January 26th. We're going to leave all this blank. This is if you wanted a beginning and year end time. You can also do just a display date if you wanted to highlight a date. Headline. Big snow. You can put in your text. This was a record snow in North Carolina, which I'm making all this up. All right, under media is where you actually put a link to images. So if I want to come over here and I want to type in Big Snow, North Carolina, and let's see what we get under our images. We'll make these images, and to stay within copyright, I am going to go to Tools, Usage Rights, Labeled for Reuse, and that gives us the ones that we can legally use. So let's use this one. This was actually in Virginia, but we will use it for our picture. You would want to make sure that your picture is appropriate for what your topic is. I'm not sure that we're going to find any in North Carolina, but well, let's look a little bit more and let's see where was that one. It doesn't really tell us. All right, so we're going to actually click on the image. so that we can get the image URL. That's what needs to go in your timeline. And, uh, there we go. You're going to right click on it. Ooh, this one's a little different. Let's go back. You should, most pictures you can right click on them and it will say copy URL. This particular one did not work. So let's go back. And let's see if we can find one that will, so you can see how that will work. Let's look for another picture. Not a lot of good ones, are there? All right, let's go back to this one that was in Virginia with Wikipedia. So we open the picture, as I was saying. And that will happen sometimes, that you may have to go get a different picture. And it's showing us all the way the weather system occurred. And let's get down here to our actual picture. One in Tennessee. There's our picture we wanted. Okay, so there's our picture. We're going to right click on it. Copy image address is what we want. So we copy it. We are then going to come right here and we are going to paste it. 
So there it is. Now, media credit. As the website was saying, you need to give credit. Okay. Now in this one, you can give credit here. Right there's the address. So you're going to copy it. I'll go back over to your timeline. You can type in Wikipedia, or you could put that whole long address, whichever way, but you want to give credit to where it came from. Media caption, Big Snow in North Carolina. All the rest of this you will leave blank. If you want to do a background, if you scroll over this, you'll see you can go Google hexadecimal colors and put in that code, and it will change your background color. So let's go make sure we don't have any blanks, and we will get started to actually publish this and make it a timeline. So there's no date here. Let's go ahead and put in 2010. Let's make this one June 30th. All right, now this step has changed a little bit, so if you've made done this in the past, you may notice a change. You're going to go to File, Publish to the Web, and you want to Publish. Say OK. Used to, you would copy this address. They've changed it. You come up here and copy, so you can Control-C, or you can right-click once it's highlighted. You have to make sure all the address is highlighted. You can right click and copy. Go back over here to the Night Lab. And you see here, if you forget, it tells you step by step. And it says the difference that it's made. You're going to come down here. And you're going to either right click paste or control paste. And you can see your address should look similar to theirs. Then you want to get link to preview. And there is our timeline. So there's the ones they had done at the beginning. And if we continue to go through, we will see that there's the one we did with our image, giving credit, our caption, the date, title, and there's our information. You may have noticed as you go through here, you can also do a YouTube. So you can also put videos in here as well if you choose to. And the way you would do that, you would just go under Media and put the YouTube right here you see one address. All right, we've got one final step. You want to copy this address. I'm on my timeline that I was looking at. You want to do Control-C or right-click and paste. You want to go back to your spreadsheet. Now, this is just my trick, because when you're making edits, if you don't do this, you have to go through those steps of publishing it again. So click in year till you see the blue lines around it, and you're going to do insert, comment, and then you're going to paste that link that you copied. That link came from, just as a reminder, right up here at the top of your timeline. And you see it should start out with cdnnightlab.com. You're going to hit comment. Now the reason we do this, let's say I want to come in here and I want to change this. And I'm going to put in uh, YouTube. Or let's do, since we're doing Civil War, let's do Civil War. I could change my text. Here is a video on the... Civil War. Make sure you spell things correctly. It does not spell check. So then we are going to go to YouTube. Make sure you have previewed your video so you know exactly which one you want. So watch them. Just don't click on one and put it in. We're going to put in Civil War. Find the one that you want. Let's do this historical documentation of the Civil War. Let it finish loading. You'll come up here, copy the address, control C, right click and copy. Put it on the correct line that you want it. Control V, you see the date changed, or the address changed, excuse me, 
right there to YouTube. It's automatically saving. Now, I want to see did it take in my timeline. So I hover over year. I click on the ad web address. I have my updated timeline, and let's see if our YouTube video worked. There we go. And there's our YouTube video, and now it will play. So that's how you do a night lab timeline. If you have any questions, be sure to let us know, but hopefully that will help you out, and hopefully you will enjoy working with the YouTube timeline.